science does not yet have a way of accurately determining someone's age. The young can look old, the old young. Instead, we rely on paperwork, birth certificates, passports and driving licenses that can act as proof of age. But what happens when even they don't exist? It is a problem our asylum system has to grapple with, but its rules are clear. Where there is any doubt about a young asylum seeker's age, the Home Office should treat them as children until specialists are able to do a full, thorough assessment of their age. But a Newsnight investigation has uncovered repeated instances of people the Home Office has identified as adults who have turned out to be children when properly assessed. The ones we've identified are the lucky ones. There could be others, how many we don't know, who are left to fend as adults. It's extremely concerning. We've got young people who arrive here in the UK on their own, who think on arrival here they're safe and they're going to be looked after. But on arrival they've been told, no, you're lying, you're an adult, we're sending you away without proper support. I've sat down with them and, and, and the first thing, I, you, as soon as the client walks in, you almost can't believe that it's, it's, that's the client because you're imagining that you're going to see someone that looks quite old and what you're actually seeing is someone that's 15, 16 and, and quite clearly um, a child. I certainly believe that, that I'm, I, I'm seeing a lot of young people um, who have very slight frames and who are very vulnerable and that, that's, that's, um, that's very concerning indeed. We've uncovered 90 cases since January 2018 where young people have been declared adults and sent on to the adult asylum scheme only for them later to be found to be children. We identified 56 cases in Liverpool, 8 in Croydon and 7 in Wakefield. There have been at least another 17 in Derby and Glasgow say they have two or three a year. The Home Office's own guidance is explicit. Their officers are not expert age assessors. They should only weed out people who are obviously well over 18. It says, the policy is specifically designed to allow a large margin of error in favour of the claimant's claim to be a child. It achieves this by requiring Home Office staff to only treat them as an adult on the basis of their physical appearance and demeanour, where they conclude that these indicators very strongly suggest they are significantly over 18 years of age. It's not designed to catch borderline cases. It's essentially designed to catch the person that is obviously telling you a lie. No reasonable person would say that that person is a child. And therefore, rather than refer on to the local authority social services team, they, they put them on the main asylum process. But unfortunately, that's the policy they have in place. But what, what's actually happening in practice is, is something quite different. 18-year-old and 19-year-old been placed temporarily with children is going to be supervised and assessed properly and if appropriate moved on. A child wrongly placed with adults is not further assessed unless somebody like us steps in, is left there with un unknown adults uh, to try and make the best of things and often for, for children that's incredibly difficult and they really, really struggle to survive uh, without the support that they should have as a child. This at a time when councils are housing ever-increasing numbers of asylum-seeking children. In 2017-18, 4,480 were housed at a cost the local government association put at £152 million. The numbers and the money have doubled since 2015. Hi, my name is Darrell. I'm the Housing Officer for Asylum Seekers in Liverpool. In February, Newsnight reported from inside one of two centres in Liverpool where adult asylum seekers are sent by the Home Office before being dispersed to other accommodation. We now know a number who arrive in the city as adults are actually children. We're getting additional uh, young people and children coming in and of course it's an additional strain of financial cost to us and, and we will bear it because you know, we have to and you know, those children need to be looked after but there's no getting away from the fact that it adds you know, a million, one and a half million pounds to, to, in cost to us that we just don't have. The Home Office told us, we take our duty to safeguard and promote the welfare of children in the asylum and immigration system very seriously. However, age assessment is an extremely difficult area of work and is not an exact science. It is wrong to state that all of these cases involve an initial assessment from the Home Office. Some of the individuals will already have been assessed to be an adult by another local authority, while there will also be some cases where a claim to be a child was only made after they were dispersed. 
Campaigners say most of the cases they see do involve home office assessments. Stories of asylum seekers claiming to be children when they in fact are adults often grab media and public attention. But the figures Newsnight has obtained suggest that, unnoticed, many children are wrongly being identified as adults.